Hello everybody, it's Aaron. Welcome back to the Crack Pack. So I'm having a really terrible week at recording. I just did not record the most awesome episode that you'll never see. So I'll just kind of recap what happened, but there's no evidence of it happening. I got a bunch of the Wither Skulls. Um, I had about six more. I already killed two of the, the Wither Boss guys. Um, I got all these in about five minutes, and the way I've done it, uh, remember all that steel I had that I thought I was going to need that I didn't actually need, I made a couple of drums to fill with mob essence, so I've got the auto spawner, I had to go ahead and make it, and I've got an autonomous activator with a cleaver in it set, set to left click. I love the autonomous activator, it's one of the probably most underutilized blocks in the game besides the router. So if we turn this on, it's very straightforward. The spawner spawns the skeletons and the autonomous activator with the cleaver kills them. Every once in a while one of those little heads will pop off as you see, but the, uh, the autonomous activator gets them too, and I end up with wither skulls. So uh, I also made an atomic disassembler. I really like it for the mining features. Uh, there is some sort of bug that someone told me about. If you have back tools, it, um, it, it makes it so you can't see anything in your inventory. I used it to kill the wither boss, and it does a fair amount of damage, but, I mean, you can make a tinker's tool that does more, so... Uh, I really like it for the vein mining, though. Uh, I also made a hydrogen jetpack. And those things that I forgot the, um, the name of, they're called free runners. They negate fall damage, as you just saw, as long as they're charged. And you can walk up a block, kind of like uh, Boots of the Traveler. Or, I guess, if you're on a horse. I wish you could run faster or jump higher. Or something. I guess you can jump high with a jetpack, but uh, there's no uh, mode switch key for those. The thing I like most about this jetpack is the hover mode is more like creative, and I feel like I earned it since Wook gave me the other one. Thanks, Wook. And I've been using his energetic infuser to charge it. I actually made my own energetic infuser, uh, hooked it up to the big reactor just because. Uh, but I feel like I earned this one because I made it myself. I made the armored one uh, because um, the mobs can be a, a bit of a handful. So this laser drill did not even run for 24 hours before this reactor burned up all the yellow rights. Uh, these are all the ores we got minus four emerald that I had to use to make something. Uh, so if you see, where's the yellow right? We only got 14 yellow right, okay? Uh, so I'm going to write down the important ones like uh, Certus Quartz, Nether Quartz, Diamonds, Emeralds, stuff like that. And right now I have Cyan Focuses in there. And I've already gotten more yellow right in like two and a half hours from the Cyan Focus than I did overnight with no focus. So if we look at that, we've already got 76, which will double into, what, 152. Uh, so that is a big improvement. I still want to make the yellow focuses to see, um, if you remember, I said I, I heard conflicting information or I read conflicting information. I still want to make the yellow focuses to see uh, what we get the most of. But the cyan seems to be working. If we get more than we put into the reactor, I'll leave the cyan ones in there and just set up some sort of auto processing for the yellow right and just feed it right back into it because um, this is, from what I understand, pretty server friendly. I'm not destroying the environment. I don't have a bunch of ugly quarry holes or sections of dirt. I don't have to load any other chunks. It's just what I've already got loaded at my base. And we get 
free ore essentially from this ridiculous amount of power and if it generates enough yellow right to just run constantly then that's all good so when I filled this up I think it was around three stacks which is what's that 128 and 64 I think that's what 192 so if I end up with 192 ish I'm going to, when I refill it, I'm going to pay more attention. I meant to pay attention. Um, if I end up with more ore than I put in, then we're just going to run this thing. Um, but I, I have to record now because I need to process these ores so I can do stuff. My stupid ME filled up with um, bows. I have a ton of them from the Cursed Earth farm that we made down there that was supposed to be temporary. <sighs> I discovered this while I was trying to craft something. I crafted it, tried to throw it back into the inventory, and it wouldn't take. So let's do this first thing. We're going to make a fuzzy export bus, hopefully. I'm going to have to to make a couple of things. And I'm I don't know if it went in there. Did it? Maybe it did. I don't know if I have any of the conversion things. I always make about 5 of those cuz I always seem to need them. And we'll make four interfaces. Let's try this again. There we go. And this one. Alright. So let me get a bow. And we'll just put it in the trash can. I'm still working on um, a power, uh, power situation for the ME. I'm still deciding what I want to do. So for now I'll just put this here and hope that it doesn't increase the power usage to the point that uh, these generators are no longer good enough. So we're going to put a bow in there. They're already getting put in there. Awesome. You can split the damage. I just usually leave it on the default and it seems to work just fine for my purposes. Yeah, that was going to be, um, that, that would have been a very bad deal. Um, the other thing I need to make, there's a thing called a storage block. I think, or maybe it's a block container. Yeah, there it is. It's really cheap. It holds 64K of one type of item, like cobblestone or dirt or something like that. I need to make a couple of those. Uh, let me see what I've got the most of. Uh, obviously, I have a lot of cobblestone. A lot of sulfur. That's not enough that I really need to worry about. But um, Those are good. When we start a tree farm, we're definitely going to have to, to make one of those. I'm not going to worry about it right now since I'm not mining anymore. And we're not going to run a quarry. It's not that big of a deal uh, until we get to the point where we decide if we want some, you know, octuple compressed cobblestone or something like that. So to make this jetpack, I had to make diamond dust. I did not know this. Uh, when I put my diamond in the crusher, that's how you make diamond dust. It auto ejected into the enrichment chamber and it turned the dust back into a diamond. So if you didn't know that was possible, it is. And I had to make an osmium compressor uh, so I could make some obsidian ingots. I don't even know what else they're good for besides the atomic disassembler. Apparently teleporter frames and stuff like that, which I do want to play with at some point, uh, but that is a long way off. I think obsidian swords are supposed to be pretty good. 
plus 14 attack damage. If you could put um, like looting and something else on that, that wouldn't be a bad idea. I think Wook has one, one or two of them. So that's basically what you missed. I just uploaded episode 5, so I haven't done anything with the floor yet. Uh, I'm looking forward to your suggestions. So um, that's really all I've got for right now. Um, once we figure out how much um, Yellowrite this is going to generate, uh, that'll determine what our next move is. So I'm going to have to let this thing finish and then we'll go from there. So if you guys have any questions or comments or suggestions, please leave them down below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.